Hey guys, I am getting ready to plant my fairy garden. So this is my container and the soil is over there. And I got this natural and organic plant food. I have my little gloves from Dollar Tree. These are nice. I suppose as long as you're not doing anything real heavy duty. 99 cent only store. Uh, Dollar Tree. I had this. I'm not sure where I got it from, but I had that already. And I got some reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. Some river rocks. And the pretty rocks to look like water. A couple of different daisy plants. I need to get these planted. Um, and my succulents. These actually bloomed. It was really pretty. And then wait till you see all this stuff. So, whoop, I'm going to have more, more than enough for another one or two. I went back to Big Lots when they were having their 20% off sale. I don't know if I ever showed you guys these things. But some of them I got in the 20% off sale. And the others I had gotten at a an earlier visit so I have plenty of stuff here it's also cute and the fence, I know I showed that in a haul and that and those and the bridge and then these are the items that I got at um, Savers the thrift store all of these items Dollar Tree, somebody said that I could put these in um, the fairy garden. So well, that's a good idea. And this is the little house I got from Savers again. And then all the really cute vintage items that I got at Smith's, our grocery store. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. This is also from Smith's. So that's what I have to work with. Um, I think I'm just going to show you in increments as I get things done. I think that's the easiest way instead of trying to figure out how to set up the tripod and yeah. And there's where a lot of my craft stuff is. Right there. And it's a beautiful day. All right. Oh, wait, I want to show you something. My hibiscus bloomed. Bruno knocked a couple of the, oh, I keep forgetting to bring in the trash thing. Oh, I got that at Dollar Tree. But look at my hibiscus. He knocked a couple of the blossoms off of here. So I was sad, but I'll have more. There's another one there. And that's my, um, oh, what the heck is it called? I know what it is. And I brought the bunnies from Alaska and got the gnome at 99 cent only store. Those bunnies, I think Mike thinks I'm crazy that I brought them, but our dog Sydney, she used to um, pick them up and carry them around, move them around. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you back in a bit. Well, this is what I have so far. I've kind of been moving things around, but I have everything planted. And I have the fencing here holding. I wish these were smaller, but that's okay. And then the different mosses. Uh, I have to get the, the, bee, the glass gems in here to make it look more like water. These. So I kind of got lost in it and I forgot to record, but I'll be back. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. Now I just have to get it outside. I'm going to put it in the front. Um, I was thinking about putting it in the back, but I don't know. Being out by the pool and stuff, who knows? Maybe I'll move it. But I just need to water it down and kind of clean it up. So that's what I have for my first fairy garden. 
and I'll show you when I get it outside. Bye. Okay, so I have it set up. I wish I could recess it into the ground, but the ground here is just so hard. And I added that and that and that little fairy. So I did oh, change some things around. And as you saw with all the stuff that I bought, I have enough for at least probably two to three more little gardens. So I guess that means I have to go get some more containers and flowers. So it was fun. It was fun to do. And I hope you guys will do one when I put my plus this garden sign in the back here. So that's my first fairy garden, you guys. And I hope you're doing a-okay. All right, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I mostly got succulents because it's a desert, you know.